It is the 6th of the 9th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. A powerful earthquake rocked Costa Rica on Wednesday, causing the deaths of at least two people, damaging buildings and briefly triggering a tsunami warning. Uh, residents of the capital, San Jose, said phones went down, electri electricity poles rattled on the streets, and water flowed out of pools after the 7.6 magnitude quake. Uh, there were also unconfirmed media reports of people being treated for injuries. This one goes uh, on a little more, and uh, that video I posted earlier from uh, Stace Watch Costa Rica quake vibrates, uh, vibrations hit the United States. Uh, they have a screen capture of an anim animation that shows uh, waves from the Costa Rican earthquake uh, rolling up through the New Madrid fault line. And uh, that goes to show where Stacy was saying, look at all this seismic activity going on. A new animation shows the shock wave from the 7.6 magnitude earthquake that struck Costa Rica this morning arriving and reverberating through the ground beneath the United States. Uh, the, visualization, the visualization was made by scientists uh, at Incorporated Research Institutes for Seismology and shows the Earth slowly moving up and down. A red spot shows seismometers moving upward and the darker the hue, the higher they are moving up. Uh, the opposite goes for blue, of course. Very interesting read. Climate change hits Mars. Mars is being hit by rapid climbing change and it's happening so fast that the red planet could lose its southern ice cap, uh, writes Jonathan, Jonathan Leek. Scientists from NASA say that Mars has warmed by about 0.5 degrees Celsius since the 1970s. Now, this is similar to the warming experienced on Earth over approximately the same period. Since there is no known life on Mars, it suggests rapid changes in planetary climates could be natural phenomena, and not all the SUVs running around uh, on Mars right now. Sinkhole could close Ottawa Highway for days. Uh, highway 174 eastbound could be closed for days as sinkhole grows to size of Olympic swimming pool. 500 firefighters face steep dry ter terrain uh, in a blaze in California. 3,600-acre fire in the San Gabriel Mountains near Los Angeles chewed through thick brush and steep terrain that hadn't burned in two decades amid hot, dry conditions. And we got fires rolling all throughout the, the western United States. Uh, the Costa Rica story, of course, 5.9 magnitude uh, off of Vanuatu. And flights on alert as volcano erupts in Central America. Uh, the Fuego volcano in Central Guatemala is continuing to erupt, shooting lava and columns of ash into the air and causing concerns of possible ash clouds that could halt flights in the area. And uh, we've been reporting on this volcano for a while now. It's very active. Virgin Islands and Caribbean region joins growing list of seismically tense hot spots. Uh, the VIDN says on August 30th, 2012, uh, that a that alerts subscribers who have noticed a recent increase in earthquake notifications from the service should not be alarmed. Uh, between 3 a.m. Monday and continuing through the day Wednesday, more than 50 very minor to moderate earthquakes were recorded near latitude 90 degrees north, north of the Virgin Islands, according to a uh, statement issued Wednesday. Those tremors include a 5.2, 4.6, and 4.7 magnitude earthquakes between 3 and 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Now this is off the coast of Puerto Rico, just north of that, and there's a big plate line there. And uh, it's not uncommon. I've seen this many times as uh, these earthquake swarms happen. Um, and even the scientist here says uh, three or four times a year. So uh, definitely to keep an eye on, but not to be overly alarmed about. Over to the extinction protocol. Quakes hit hydropowered plant area in Quang Nam. Now this is out of Vietnam. They've got a large dam in trouble. A series of tremors along with underground explosions that were heard from above and caused walls to crack occurred yesterday in the area of uh, Song Tran 2 hydropower plants. 
Uh, experts at the plant are analyzing the data collected from the earthquake observation stations in the area, but not, have yet to announce how powerful the quake was on the Richter scale. So, of course, the government has everything completely under control, and there's nothing to worry about. Hundreds of homes damaged by earthquake in the Philippines. Uh, more than 800 homes and businesses were damaged when a 5.6 magnitude earthquake rocked the southern Philippines early on Tuesday. And, of course, cracks in the walls and uh, roofs collapse and all of that. Uh, they've got a bunch of economy stuff going on right now on the extinction protocol. Definitely something to look into. Over to the RSOE quick. Oh, excuse me. Uh, of course, we got the volcanic eruption and the uptick in the Anak Krakatau volcano in Indonesia. A very active volcano indeed. That's the son of Krakatau. Uh, forest fires in the state of Washington. Flash flooding in India. Uh, big hailstorm in South, um, South Africa in uh, Johannesburg. Uh, they're saying entire roads were flooded out, cars the bit, and uh, hail's falling so thick it's like snow in places. Flash floodings in uh, Fall River, Massachusetts. Again, heavy rains, deluge. They had some serious flooding. Uh, people were trapped in a store kind of thing um, where their cars were inundated up to past their doors kind of thing. Uh, extreme weather in the state of Kentucky. Um, some severe storms there as well. Of course, the flooding continues in Pakistan. And uh, extreme weather in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Now, half the city of Anchorage went without power. They had some wind gusts over 100 miles an hour knocking down power lines all over the place. Uh, still an ongoing situation, but uh, definitely one for the record books in Anchorage. And, of course, uh, that's about it. Climate change today. Let's just go over to E&E &E News for the nuclear stuff. Uh, they pretty much cover everything. Sinkhole. Officials concerned about gas has entered Mississippi River. Uh, Aluvel Aquifer. New well to be drilled near Sinkhole. Uh, they're saying it might escape uh, this one salt dome and start going cracking into another salt dome. So they're, they've already started a, a, another test well. Uh, where they think uh, any gas leaking would accumulate in between these two salt domes kind of thing. Uh, but don't worry, folks. Everything's completely under control. Uh, the sinkhole is just getting worse and worse. Japanese professor, all nuclear interests want to do is avoid making nuclear power a central election issue. Uh, saying Gunderson. Uh, government trying to frighten public. Only farmer left in Fukushima Township's broccoli and lettuce to supermarkets. Oh, they ship their broccoli and lettuce to supermarkets. His vegetables are tasty and have a rich flavor. Yum, yum. Fukushima peaches on sale outside of Japan. U.S. military starts registry for people developing health conditions after being in Japan. Says Tokyo babies had 12 millisievert radiation dose to thyroid in weeks after 311. Nuclear expert at Fukushima trip. Reactor explosions dispersed broken fuel rods inland as particulate matter. And you can remember TEPCO announced any plutonium you find outside of TEPCO property is no longer theirs, it is yours. So free plutonium throughout the land. Uh, Busby, I think plutonium probably reached critical mass at reactor number three, which caused the explosion, and that's the very, very big explosion that happened uh, from the three melted down nuclear reactors. Nuclear Insider, Fukushima Exclusion Zone could be declared some sort of national memorial park in the next five to ten years. So line up, folks. Uh, tourist dollars are ready to be made. And you remember those, uh, those high school students I was telling you that were going to go over to Japan and do studies? This is a definite must-see. American students featured in Fukushima propaganda film. The cherries are delicious. The nuclear power plant has brought us together. Quote, Fukushima is here, unchanged to this day. So let's all hold hands. Fukushima's all better now. And they got American kids. Nuclear expert back from Japan. Fukushima deposited a lot of more radioactive material than Chernobyl. 
except for immediate area around reactors. And Gunderson gets to question TEPCO and NISA. Frankly, I was surprised and appalled. It was as if they were wearing blinders. Reuters, local fire brigade wrote, uh, reported fire broke out at a French nuclear power plant. Uh, the officials deny, quote, involuntary chemical reaction. Uh, APF 50 firefighters were deployed to that incident. And uh, the official story is steam blast, steam blast at French nuclear plant. Uh, two employees burned, six others reportedly ill. But don't worry, folks, they have that one completely under control as well. EPA on the Louisiana sinkhole radiation survey, total gamma count, quote, slightly elevated near Highway 70, quote, well within normal sed sedimentary rock levels, and uh, they're reporting huge fish kills and the sediments turned up after Isaac. Um, the insanity continues. TEPCO makes critical admission Fukushima Unit 4 quake testing does not take horizontal shaking into equation. Claims that can withstand a six-point quake only apply to vertical shaking. <sighs> you remember those uh, spent fuel rods are 100 feet in the air in a cracked tank. They're already pumping water up to the top from because uh, it's leaking. TEPCO didn't have enough cash to buy essential supplies as Fukushima reactors melted down, and that's why they uh, they rigged all those things and uh, poured salt water over everything, and uh, you wonder why everything's falling apart right now. And TEPCO reveals the damage to uniform near photoshopped area photo. And again, they photoshopped some photos they released of uh, reactor number four, the damage that's actually to the building. They're pretty blatant about it. Um, so now they're finally fessing up to that. And, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, that's about all I'm going to cover tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please let me know. Uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. It's a beautiful day outside. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you.